Greetings and salutations. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to Twisted Strands, episode 118. And I am Jeannie, or JD, your hostess. And thank you for joining me today. Now, let's get on to the fun stuff, and I have some things to talk about in Stuff and Junk. Okay? Our episode is brought to you by Imperial Pumpkin Ale by Werebacker, whatever you want to call it. It is a rather hearty brew and tasty, and it's pumpkin-y, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. I did make a few purchases that I'm very happy with. Um, first one is the first one I bought. Now this is a re-dye, and it's by Mother Frogging Yarns. It's her Boo Frog Self Striping. 7525 Merino Nylon, and she got it just right for me. See that? This is obviously just going to become a pair of gorgeous Halloween socks. No idea when I will cast that on, but yeah, that's that plan for that. And this is another happy purchase. I was very glad I got this. It is uh, Sugar Skull by Knitter's Nightmare Batty Sock Blend of, I think it's 80-20 or 90-10. It's a little hard to read. <laughs> but anyway, it's merino nylon so this is going to be socks as well and it's dyed by the beautiful and talented Sadie of Yarnivore Podcast is that not the cutest little I love this guy I love it anyway and I love this it's gorgeous and bright and this too shall be some exciting wonderful socks can you tell I'm into the stripey goodness and last but not least, I have... Oh, wait. No, before that. <laughs> I cannot forget. Ray Whiting has a company called Nativity. And he was doing a special one pers- uh, $1 shipping and a percentage off of his n- returning colorways or something. Anyway, this is Mardi Gras, and it is just so beautiful. It is the filled fiddle bits sock. It's 75-25 wool and nylon blend super wash wool. And I can't say enough about Ray. His yarn is worth the wait. And I know he appreciates your business, so he's a... I've used his yarns before, and it's lovely, and it's just a great colorway. I am not sure what I'm going to make this out of this. Um, It's almost too pretty to make into socks, really. I mean, they're all beautiful, but this I don't have a plan yet. This is his Marty Book Gras colorway. And uh, to support them just more here, it's www.nativity.com. See? Of course, it's not going to focus that close. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, it's wonderful. It's soft. It's got a bit of a shine. Beautiful yarn at a good price. And this is from the Lewis auction to help uh, well Resta 1313 I don't know her full name right now sorry but I bought this to help pay for the kitty who got really really sick and hurt and I bought it to support and help her pay for her bills because, damn, those vets are expensive. So, it's supposed to be his colors. And it's got a lot of nice colors in it. And it's got a shock of pink. 
some somehow in there. And I feel like that represents his little pink nose or his toes. He's a sweet little kitty. So what I'm going to do with this one, this is Worsted Weight. And it's by Fiber Addiction. And they're fiberaddiction.etsy.com. Moo. And I'm planning on knitting another Greta by Rebecca Danger in this yarn just for fun. Because I want to try it again because I feel like I failed the first one. I mean, the Halloween kitten turned out really cute and all, but I feel like I can do another one better, and I will, with this beautiful yarn. So, anyway, I won that one at auction, and in my web, I have not been spinning this week, sorry. I mean, I might have attacked it, but only a little bit. And then I got distracted by other things like knitting or um, you'll hear about how busy my weekend was on set on uh, stuff and junk. So there's all of the yarn I bought. I promise. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> anyway, so what am I working on? The two things that I'm mostly working on are the hat. The textured acorn beanie has honestly totally been picked up by me finally. I ripped out all of the textural, sorry, I'm moving the desk, textural stuff and now I am re knitting it and I have clean, completed one entire pattern repeat. So, uh, you, there it is. You can kind of see. Some of the, on this side more than the other, you can see some of the acorns popping up. And this is by Unidentified uh, DK Weight Yarn. And yes, I've got a crazy amount of stitch markers. <laughs> All different kinds because, well, except I do have some of the Evil Eye stitch markers that I made. But yeah, a lot of different kinds of stitch markers. Ah! And one just fell off because it's the beginning of the row. The teal kitty is the beginning of the row. So anyway, that is being worked on very much so. I'm almost friends with the pattern, but it's still got me going a bit. It still needs my full attention during some of the cable rows. It's a little bit hard for me. Probably easy peasy for some of you get ladies and gentlemen out there, but not for me. It's a little bit tough. But I'm tackling it. I'm working hard on that. And the other thing that I'm working hard at work on work. Yeah, right. This is play, but I like to be challenged when I'm messing around. This is the Brighton Rock Sock. And that's by Rian Drinkwater. And I've seriously messed this one up. Seriously, you can see it right there. I mean, most of it is good looking. But then you see the fuck up. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh well, who the hell is perfect? Not me, that's for sure. So I'm struggling along with this one because I ended up with a bad stitch count, so I ripped it back, and then I lost my place, yada yada. Some days you just can't get shit right, you know? So anyway, working away on these two projects, they're my two main whips. So that's it for that. Now, as far as finished objects, or as I'd like to call it, the dead and gone <laughs> finished objects. Nothing. Nothing is done at all. Sorry. I feel a little bit disappointed in myself for that, but crap happens, you know? Anyway, in the crystal ball, <laughs> future plans, right? I see myself starting the probably going to be awesome Morticia's 
mystery knit along shawl by Boo Knits. I've got my lace yarn, I've got my beads, I've got my brains. <laughs> Let's hope I can do this. I will, of course, show you clue one once I get it. Hopefully, no, hopefully I won't spoil it for anybody. I'll warn you if I show it to you, okay? Now, next on the knits and stuff and junk. Okay, stuff and junk. If you can think of a horror-themed intro to stuff and junk, I'd love that. I don't know if I'm going to keep the terror things, horror things, Halloween things going, but I'd like to. So, anyway, I... I've not been watching much television. I haven't even caught the second episode of Sleepy Hollow, but I will. I have not watched the Avengers that I... Well, not the Avengers. The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I haven't watched the first episode of that yet. I've got it all on the DVR. So, yes, I shall watch it all eventually. And as far as Netflix stuff goes, I'm watching... A mix of Doctor Who and Supernatural and I must say I really like Donna because whenever someone mistakes Donna and the Doctor as a couple they both vehemently deny it and you know they mean it they're like no no we're not a couple why <laughs> it's just funny as hell so anyway yeah that's what I'm watching, and while I was working on the easy bits of the acorn, textured acorn beanie, by Wheezy Works, by the way, and while I was working on the easy bits, I was watching the Friday the 13th, had Friday the 13th marathon going on on Sci-Fi last night. So that was a lot of fun. I think the one I caught was number four. That four, most of four, and all of five, I think. And then it was just starting another one out, and I said, holy crap, it's late, I'm going to bed. Fuck it, going to bed. So now that we've finished talking about what I'm watching and stuff and junk. I'm still trying to get, trying to read through Bite Me by Chris Moore. I have not made any progress. And the reason I haven't made any progress between the hat and the sock and Saturday night, Saturday, all day actually, was quite busy for me. I went to a doll meet and we just hung out for a few hours. I left to go for some shopping at a bead store, and this ties into Halloween stuff because I bought this, I don't even know, I plan on making Halloween flavored stitch markers out of this black wire. And these are just beads for the black mama that I have never gotten into doing because my size 8 beads were just too damn big. So I bought some size 8. I said, did I say 8? No, I had size 6 beads. They were too big. I bought some size 8 beads, which are what is called for in the pattern. And so I will have a black mamba whenever I get around to it. Uh, anyway, so I went to the bead store where they had this really cute calico kitty, and she was a doll, this cat, so sweet. Anyway, when I finished with my shopping at the bead store, it was in Allentown, it was called Cat's Beads, and it was pretty, pretty decent for a smaller store. And they had three sections where you would shop, so it was pretty cool. I would go there again. But anyway, when I was at the doll meet, I was invited to go with my friends, who love Halloween and all that, to a, the Bates Motel, which is a world, worldwide known Halloween attraction. And to, yeah, this past Saturday, 
this past weekend was the cheap time to go and it wasn't as half as crowded as it usually is and my friend said you want to come with us hang out with us for a while go to this haunted thing we'll be there around nine and I was like oh <laughs> heck yeah so I went all the way back home ate dinner um, bought my ticket yada yada rushed to Pennsylvania and oh my goodness the drive there was a nightmare in itself seriously two hours and change in the dark through Princeton very few highways there was construction and tolls and ugh. but anyway I got there a couple of minutes before my friends did they got there got their tickets and we jumped on to the hayride and the, we loved the hayride and the corn maze and the haunted house they updated some things and changed it around and it was scary and I got to show people my amusing oh my goodness this is scary I'm having so much fun like which is like ah! <laughs> seriously I go like this I flail real flailing really entertaining to them I'm sure <laughs> but anyway yes oh and I wore my skull shawl and my friends loved it I kept trying to tell Melinda that she is good enough to make one all it takes is chaining single crochet double crochet and reading a pattern not rocket scientists but uh, it's fine someday I'll convince her that she can do this stuff anyway I had a blast on Saturday but I did not get home until 2 o'clock on Sunday morning and I've oh, I mean I was fine driving met an asshole on the road he wanted to speed I didn't want to so <laughs> whenever he uh, flashed his brights or got irritating I slowed down just a mile or two below what I was doing <laughs> I was like you know what fuck you if you're gonna be rude asshole I'm gonna go a little bit slower every time you show your ass to me so he ended up charging past me like a real macho asshole um during you know you there was a three spots where you could go to go straight left or right he took the left and just went <coughs> what a douchebag Pennsylvania drivers man <laughs> anyway also during the um doll meet I wanted to thank Earl if you still watch it thank you so much for the vintage sock book very interesting and some actually pretty patterns not sure if I, I'm up to the level of some of these I mean they're freaking argyle so and of course I think they're pretty freaky and fun looking and interesting I don't even think beehive makes yarn anymore I'm sure they don't. Non shrink suckle by Beehive. I should look that shit up, see if it's even made anymore. Probably not. Thank you, Earl. You are a doll. Doll who owns dolls. That's what you are. What else? Oh, I wanted to do a, a bit of a talk not like horrifically long or short or serious but mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you all, you all about the three R's of knitting and crochet okay stay with me here <laughs> the title has a reason the three R's of knitting and crocheting when you're wanting to attack something that's tough or you're having trouble one first R 
is read the whole damn pattern. Okay? Read it. And if you see something or a technique that you're not familiar with, do the second R, which is research. Research the techniques, watch videos, read tutorials, ask the designer. Okay? Research. So we've got read the pattern, research the shit you don't know, and number three is don't be afraid to rip that crap out if you're not happy with it. Okay? Read it, research, and ripping out. Don't be afraid of doing all those three. And I think you'll be able to conquer even the hardest project that you've always been intimidated by. You can do it. Don't be shy. Alright? Even if the designer is an, an abashed douchebag, ask somebody else then. I've never met a designer I didn't adore, but I know the assholes are out there that design good things, but whatever. You can always figure it out. You are a smart person and you can do it. And that's... Oh, the Halloween Stitch Alone. That was my talk. Okay, put down your pens and paper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, the Halloween Stitch Along are, um, don't forget, still going strong. Tomorrow starts the official beginning of the Halloween season. You know, it's for me, it's all year. I don't care. But anyway, keep those Halloween stitches going. I love seeing what everybody did, and I love the fact that someone, I don't know your name, I can go online right now and find out, but she did a really freaking cute stitch, cross stitch, and that is perfectly good, alright, cross stitch, weaving, whatever, who did that, T. Moran did a really cute mouse and a pumpkin cross stitch. Yay! So anyway, anything goes. I'm making up prizes. You can get the hand spun. You can get the hand dyed done by yours truly. And I'm going to make bead stitch markers and probably a nice Halloween themed fun project bag, because everybody loves project bags. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody who has contributed so far to the fun that is the Halloween Stitch Along. My only requirement is that you be a member of the group, please. We've got over 400 members. Yay! And yeah, just get it finished and posted with a picture because I like that. Put it on the Halloween Stitch Along finished objects thread and that will automatically put you in the running for one of my gifts to you for Halloween. And that's the Halloween Stitch Along. Okay? Alright. So anyway, that should... oh. I'll save it for next week. I was going to do a review of the creative knitting that just came in the mail. And I must say I do really like the some of the items in the new creative knitting. Especially those wristers. But I will show you that next week. But I am getting tired. <laughs> Monday gets to be a little long for me. But anyway... Let me give you my contact information, shall I? Oh, you can always find me on Ravelry as JD, and that is spelled J-A-D-E-E. -E. Always spelled like that. Plurk, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, 
as JD666. My email is JDALT at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook as JD Huff. That's the last name. Huff is the last name. And what else? Ooh. Oh, duh. Blog and show notes on the blog at Twisted Strands with an extra S dot blogspot.com. Brr. Anyway, leave you with my favorite parting thought, Beth. <laughs> that is true, I think, anywhere in the world, no matter what craft you do. Whenever you're crafting, whether it be weaving, spinning, stitching, dyeing, whatever it is, you're making the world a beautiful place. And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all my viewers, new and old and young and old. So happy crafting.